the chef and owner of the restaurants Odium and CJ Boyd's at the Fields right here in Los Angeles. And today is in our kitchen making his very famous East L.A. fried chicken sandwich. Please welcome Chef Tim Hollingsworth to our home. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you for being here. Now, Andrew would not miss the opportunity to dig into this chicken sandwich. I'm not even supposed to be here today. No, he's not. <laughs> he just came for the sandwich. food. And Shirley and Lawrence. Lawrence came all the way from Germany Hello. just for the sandwich. Welcome <laughs> back, <laughs> Lawrence. So you take your inspiration from, from, for the sandwich from the flavors of East L.A. What exactly are the flavors of East L.A.? Well, East L.A. is highly Hispanic in the community, so I really wanted to draw the influence of the Mexican culture in Los Angeles. So this one is kind of built off of those Mexican flavors. And those would be chili peppers? Yeah, we have chilies, garlic, sesame. Um, it's a sauce from Veracruz, salsa matcha. Oh, nice. Salsa yeah. matcha. Well, you guys dig in. It looks okay. delicious. And everybody knows a great fried chicken starts with the perfect dredge. Yes. So how do we make the perfect dredge? Okay. So um, first, start with the chicken. The chicken itself has been brined, and then we flattened it so it's a nice even layer. Brined? Yes. Yeah, so we brine it in salt. So it's like a 3% salt brine. For how long? We brine it for about 30 minutes. Okay. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to get a nice layer of flour, even. That's just flour? Just flour. Well, flour, our seasoned mixture. So we have flour, garlic salt, onion salt, paprika, cayenne, um, different herbs in there as well. So now that we dipped it in our buttermilk, we're going to dip it into our next flour. The next flour, we've added some buttermilk to kind of dirty it up. The reason why we dirty it up is um, so it clumps together. So when you have a nice clump, you can see there's always there's always clumping. You're never really frying one piece of chicken. You're always frying multiple, which end up you end up having a nice batter to it. Right. So you really want it to look like that, look messy in order for that crunch to actually occur. Yeah, 100%. So af after you do it, we want to let it rest for about 10 minutes. Um, what does the resting do? The resting basically puts a coating on there. So then there's a nice coating on there. It dries. It gets a little bit cakey because of the flour in the water okay. um, as it absorbs. And then we're going to drop it into the oil. So how hot is this oil? 350 degrees. Okay. And this isn't just regular oil. This is a fancy pants oil. Now you're giving away my secret. So we're going to be using... <laughs> is, that, is that the technical name? Well, on the menu it says, I fry in fancy pants That's oil when you go to the restaurant. <laughs> so what, explain what kind of oil this is. So this is beef Beef tallow. Beef tallow is basically uh -huh. rendered beef fat. And I don't know if you remember a long time ago, McDonald's used to fry their french fries in beef tallow. Is that why they're so delicious? Yes, yes, yes. So. Oh my gosh, we should fry everything in beef tallow. Yeah. I don't even know That's what beef tallow was. It's <laughs> this is That's delicious. Delicious. So if you weren't going to use beef tallow, what would you... I would, use, I would use peanut oil, um, okay. but peanut oil, there's a lot of people with allergies. I'm trying to make it friendly to that. This sandwich obviously has peanuts in it, but ultimately, uh, that's what I would use. Is that what most people would fry in? Peanut oil or like canola oil, which is very neutral. It doesn't have a tremendous amount of flavor, but the beef fat adds a lot of flavor. And that's why this fried chicken is the best fried chicken in the world. It's yes, 100%. Yeah, I think it's <laughs> it is. Right? This is good. Yeah, this is one of the best yeah. chicken sandwiches we've had. Ever. Thank so you. I'm trying to pace myself. Yeah, Go you ahead. put a thick coating then, because I can yes. taste it's so crunchy. That's, yes. the, that's the letting it sit for 30 minutes oh, that's, and yeah. dirtying up yeah, the second like the that. second part of the flour. So yeah. how long is this staying? So this is going to be in from 3 to 10 minutes depending on the thickness of your chicken breast and how hot your oil is. Right now we're at 315, 350, somewhere in there. So it's going to take about 8 minutes. Okay, so while that cooks and we let our other chicken that we've taken out over here rest, we are going to make your famous salsa that goes on this chicken sandwich. Yeah, so salsa matcha. This is a, a salsa matcha. It's from Veracruz. It's essentially peanuts that we're toasting in a nice uh, canola oil um, and olive oil. What we want to do is we want to make sure that the, the peanuts get nice and toasted and brown, develop a flavor. The next step is going to be adding a little bit of uh, chili. So the chilies that we're adding are chili to our bowl, uh, Guajillo chilies, and <coughs> morricha chilies. So, so morricha, are these all hot? They, they have different levels of yes. spice. Yeah. Different yeah. levels of spice. Yeah. Depends on who you are. Hot. There's just a, there is a well, definite hot. kick. Yeah. Yeah. There's a little kick. But you keep kick. going back, knowing no, that you're, gonna, you're like, I'm not going to stop until I'm finished. Right. That's a good point. So I'm adding garlic and I'm adding sesame seeds. One of the one of the chilies is uh, smoked, is similar to like a, a chipotle. Okay. Smoked a little bit less, so just different different levels of flavor. Now I know this is your specific famous sauce, proprietary sauce, I should say, but. If I what if I didn't if I couldn't find these chilies could I substitute anything? Yeah, you can find them. They're pretty re readily available, and you can order them online too. But yeah, you would substitute it with um, different types of dried chilies. Okay. So if you wanted to use um, chili de arbol, that's pretty common chili, um, and then the wahio chilies. You can take out the moritas, which are a little bit less common. Okay. So what is that we're adding now? So we're gonna add a little bit of apple cider vinegar just to balance out the spiciness and the and the sweetness and everything. To cut it a little bit. Yeah. And how 
long would we keep that on the stove top? So you just want to get it a nice toasted, like dark flavor. Um, once you have that flavor, um, it'll, it'll, it's really, really developed. You want to cool it down, then you want to pulse it in a robo cook. So we like three minutes or so there? Yeah. Three, three minutes. minutes. Three Take minutes. it off, cool it down, and then put it in a food processor to pulse it so it comes out looking like this. That's delicious. Oh, man. But make sure it's cool before you put it in the food processor. Yeah, you want to cool it down? Yes, you don't want to, you don't want to injure anybody. No. Okay, so now let's build. Okay, so next step. Now sandwich. you've made this beautiful lime crema. crema. Yeah, so this is lime juice essentially and a little bit of creme fraiche. Okay. Um, lime zest as well. Um, it adds the sweetness, it adds the acidity that you want, it adds a refreshing uh, quality to it. We're gonna add our chicken now. Oh, it's so good. So exciting. The chicken. Wow, that's just, beautiful. Just barely fits the bun, which is oh, nice. Yeah. Look at that overlapping. <laughs> and then we're gonna add our salsa matcha. Oh. Wow. Which gets a little spicy. It's fun. This is yeah, it's got a spread it out. It. Yeah. Spread it out over there. And then next step is gonna be adding our slaw. Our, which cuts the heat. Yes. So because this, the cabbage will cut the heat. To me, this balances everything. So we added it, yes. We have the lime juice in there, cilantro, and red onion. Wow. Yeah, Tim, refreshing. as you're finishing this up, um, I want to ask you, your, your new restaurant, C.J. Boyd's, it's, it's named after somebody pretty special. Yes, it's named after my grandpa. So uh, on my mom's side, uh, who my mom absolutely loves the show, as well as I do, of course. But, uh, Aw, thanks, Mom. What's your mom's mom, name? Karen Hollingsworth. Hi, Karen Hollingsworth. Thanks for watching. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, C.J. Boyd's, uh, Cecil Jordan Boyd is uh, somebody that used to get fried chicken every single payday uh, in Texas when we were growing up. So that's my grandfather. Oh, how cool. Great. Yeah. And I love to hear this because for people who may not know Tim's history, Tim comes from a very she-she culinary background. I mean, he was a, a big executive chef for fancy restaurants. Yeah. And the fact that you're making fried chicken sandwiches now makes me so happy. <laughs> that's why it tastes so good, though. I mean, that's yeah. part of the reason. Great job, okay. Tim. Thank yeah, you so cheers. much. You guys dig in. Gabby, you're going to love Take this. that big bite. I can't wait to see the expression on your face. Catch mm. Tim online at Chef Tim mm. Hollingsworth. And of course, this mm. recipe. <laughs> <laughs> this, this, this recipe is verified by Debbie's Goosebumps. Yeah. And is oh at HallmarkChannel.com. Delicious. I mean, that legitimate is legit Goosebumps. Right there. <laughs>